Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I just got home from getting my hair done. I think she did a really good job. We had to get rid of some of the ends that were damaged, so it's a little shorter than it was, but at least the hair is back to being healthy. Today I am gonna go over some recent purchases that I've made uh, within the last two months, I'd say. Hopefully that box doesn't tip over. Oh, and then I'll tell you where I got them and um, why. Mm -hmm. The first items I want to show you um, are recent purchases from ColourPop. Again, um, it's been a month or two since I've received these. But I did get an email that they were having like a 20% off. So I went ahead and placed an order. They had the... Um, Mandalorian the child palette back in stock I've never watched a single episode of this series but the palette the colors are so pretty uh, and they're greens and I really do love green and then of course you know it's not baby Yoda but the baby Yoda like little one is so cute so I'm excited to try this one out and that will be in an upcoming video and then they had the sandstone palette and I did like the color story with this so I figured I would go ahead and give it a try as well here are the colors in this palette I did place an order with the lax lax the last boxy pop-up and I got Violet Voss's Olive for you and I actually got two so this will be an upcoming random giveaway again I chose this palette because because I really liked the color story and this is what this palette looks like with the greens more of the olive toned greens which I truly adore I'm excited to play with this and give it a look or two and then of course give one away to my beautiful YouTube family. I did a video specifically on a foundation that I haven't quite finished editing yet. And hopefully I'll get that up before this video. If so, I'll link it up above in the cards and probably down below in the description but Clinique came out with an even better clinical foundation and this is what the bottle looks like and this stuff rocks um, I did purchase mine in the shade ivory I did receive a sample of it from Von Mar and I would have purchased it from Von Mar but I'll go into details as to why I didn't but this foundation is awesome so i wanted to get this and then von mar does not have the limited edition clinique lunar new year highlighter cheek pop highlighter so that is the only reason i didn't purchase it in store because i wanted to get this and this wouldn't have been enough to get me free shipping and I didn't want to pay for shipping. So I just went ahead and ordered both of these and something else. This, I was surprised when I received it and I looked at it because it looked like it would be much bigger. And it's got enough product and I'm not complaining about that. I just figured it would be a bigger container. So this is what the Gold Celebration Pop looks like. Like I said, it's a little tinier than I thought. And this is... I just thought it was so cute. Um, I am going to go ahead and just swatch this slightly. I haven't done so yet. But that is a very pretty subtle color, which I prefer. So that is going to go, I think that that's going to look great on my complexion. So I am really excited 
to use it and I'm getting better about using things that have pretty designs in them so <laughs> I'm going to make myself use it and that will be that. They also had like a gift with purchase and then um, a free pick two items. So I went ahead and this was 40% off and this is the girls night glow and it is, what is this? It contains a pop splash lip gloss, a pretty easy liquid eyeliner pen and, and a high impact mascara. And I'm going to be putting this in a future giveaway. I thought it would be a little cute thing to incorporate with, you know, maybe a palette or something like that. So keep your eyes out for that one. And I don't use Clinique skincare, but this was one of the ones I got to pick. I got to pick six samples and the Moisture Surge Intense is what I got. And a lot of people rave about this. I did get a little Clinique Happy Perfume Spray. That one I'm going to keep. And then I got a Quick Liners for Eyes Intense Stylo. And this one is an Intense Ebony. And that's what that guy looks like. And this will be going into a future giveaway bin as well. And then the gift was a makeup bag and I believe an eyeshadow palette. Yes, it is an eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like. I am going to keep this. I had um, a Clinique eyeshadow palette at one time like this. I got it in a gift with purchase and somehow or another nail polish remover spilled on it. And it ruined it, but I did like the colors, so I am going to use this. And this one is in 20 Jammin. So I'll be doing a look with this, and then of course, I'll throw this in a giveaway as well because I have makeup bags coming out of the wazoo. <laughs> Not too long ago, Beautylish had a um, special going on with Jeffree Star palettes. It was a buy one, get one free. They had the different palette variations that you could get. I was at work when the sale started, so I missed out on getting the ones that I wanted, but that's okay. Along with that order, I got this little by Terry Twinkle Glow Hyaluronic Hydra Powder little Christmas ornament thing. And this is the powder. I heard good things and read reviews on this. And I decided I would go ahead and give it a try. I did use it in the video with doing this eye look, which is Natasha Denona's Zendo. And I'll link that up in the cards as well. I only used it once. I liked it thus far. So I'm going to continue to use it. I will say that if I really like it, I'm going to repurchase, but I'm going to repurchase in the compact pressed powder um, package. This one pulls up a lot of dust. It's just, it was unbelievable, but um, is what it is. It is a loose powder and that's what loose powders do. So, Quite a while ago, I did a look and review using the Jeffree Star Alien palette. And, of course, that's no longer available, which still hurts my heart. I really like that. I had a friend loan me hers to try, and I really liked it. I even sent an email to Jeffree Star Cosmetics seeing if they had any that I could buy, and they didn't. Which I knew they probably wouldn't, but I figured I would give it, I would give it a try. And then he came out with the Blood Money palette. And it, the packaging is kind of cute, so you got to take this off. And 
this is what the palette itself looks like, the outside of the palette. His, the only thing I don't like is the fact that his products are bulky, at least these. I've never tried any of his other products besides a lip. But you have to, it won't open if you don't, it won't open if you don't push this little guy in, which took me a little while and my granddaughter had to help me. But here are the shades for this palette. Again, a lot of greens. And my friend that loaned me her Alien palette said that she had seen a couple of reviews saying it had a lot of the Alien vibes, you know, in this. So I'm excited to do a couple of looks with this. I'll, I will, of course, make a video on the looks that I create. So, like I said, there weren't a lot of options left by the time I was able to make a purchase on Beautylish.com. But they had the blue, blue, <laughs> blue blood. And I have the, I already have the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette. I did do a look. I will link that up in the card somewhere. The blood, the can't talk. Blood, oh, there we go again. <laughs> blood lust palette. The blood lust palette as well. And I did do looks using this palette. The one thing I don't like about this palette is it doesn't stay shut and it's crooked. So I don't know. Maybe he should never do this packaging again. Neither here nor there. I went ahead and got this and this is the buy one get one so I did get a second blood blue oh my <laughs> blue blood palette for a random giveaway in the future and this is what the palette looks like it's got the little latches down at the bottom and let me just flip it open and here are the colors and I thought a lot of them were really pretty. And I um, seem to be doing a little bit more with blues lately. Using them a little bit more. Um, getting a little bit more secure with applying them, you know, a little bit deeper and darker than I had been in the past. So um, I decided I'd go ahead and get this. And I thought it would be great to give one away to somebody. Um, not everybody likes Jeffree Star. And personally, I don't know him. I don't particularly enjoy some of his content and comments at all, but um, I do like the formula of his eyeshadow palettes. And for somebody who maybe has wanted to try it and hasn't yet, uh, I thought it would be nice to do this. I try, <laughs> but um, so I'll be doing an upcoming video using this palette and doing a giveaway with a palette for one of my beautiful family members. Those are my most recent purchases. I do have another um, package coming from Beautylish. I did place an order on Wednesday night for the uh, Natasha Denona set. So it's going to be a mini palette um, highlighter and cheek color. I believe, and then a lipstick, and I'm really excited for that. Now, I am thinking about, and if you guys could leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think, Tarte came out with a new palette, um, the Juicy Palette, I believe is what it's called. The colors, I'm, I look at it, and there's, I like them. Uh, do you, would you guys like to see that palette in different looks created with it? Or um, is there some other palettes that you would rather see that have come out recently? Just again, let me know. That way I can pick it up if you are interested. Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me, aside from letting me know about the Juicy palette from Tarte, let me know which eyeshadow palette that I've recently purchased that you would like to see first. Um, um, 
I am going to be doing some filming this weekend and this whole next week and editing and uploading. So I'm so excited and I can't wait to read your comments. If you happen to be new and you enjoy my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's right down here. We would love to have you as part of our YouTube family. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. It does help me out. And, you know, I want to be monetized because I would like to do more random giveaways uh, than I can right now and even bigger ones. Now, I have been at least once a week or once every two weeks doing videos with random giveaways. So just stay tuned and watch those videos. I do them randomly because I want to. <laughs> I just think it's kind of nice if you guys, I just think it's nice that if you're watching my video and in the middle of the video, I'm telling you I'm doing a giveaway, you know, I, I truly appreciate you guys watching my content and I think it, um, and I just like to surprise people. Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Again, please leave me a thumbs up. I really, really, really do appreciate it. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and always be kind to each other. I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye. Much love.